Yeah. Morning, in Trinidad and Tobago again. My name is Lennox Joseph, and I will continue repeating my name. I'm the owner of this property that I stand on. I bought it from the Republic Bank of Trinidad and Tobago. Recently, the, the councillor that belongs to the, the Southern Lavanti Regional Corporation, Burgess, I took it upon his own to misconduct himself in office by way of paving this road in my land. This is the land which the people, just a few people, have consent of. Just four people that have me before the court have consent of using. He take it upon his own to misguide the corporation in furnishing back a road in my land and make it a thoroughfare for people to pass through. And as you can see in the background, since he has paved the road, it has gained people access. Developers, developers have start development have take, start taking place. As you will see in the background, people have started developing their, 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 land, their, house, their house spot already because they have free access roads. But these people have their road. And as we go along, you will see where there is fixing road, where there is no family. They are building bridges. But on this property, man, look at it. There, that area up there is their access point. That yeah. They and they're not using it. They fail to request development of the road. Yeah, they're not doing that. And it have another archery again which they can use. And they're not, they're not using it. They have their road. But they want shortcut. But I don't mind they want shortcut, but not at my expense. And this is what the councillor have done to me. There is a court order only providing for people to use my land. It is before the court. The matter is due to come up. We are waiting on the pleadings that the matter will be able to go before the judges that will have a date in the court. And I'm still wondering if, with all my airing of this product, if the pri it hasn't reached the Prime Minister as as yet. Why is it, well, could I say, he's under his study. He's, he, he's his subordinate. He's under his understudy. He said he have given young people a break. So must I say, must I, is it alleged now that the Prime Minister is aiding and getting to this kind of activity, which I talk about to criminal activity? Look at my land. People coming and putting junk in it. Another matter of fact, where I stand in here. All the way I'm standing here, this is bank, in banking that is still up, which was aided by the corporation with the assistance of Alton Coca. Yeah, this is thing that's aided because I was standing on thing that is. So the corporation full up all here? Oh yeah, the corporation full up. This is the work Coca Health and Coca have done. And what we have paved the road. And as I said before in one of the clippings, it's because of my activity to, to, to bring it to an end. It's where you could see where they, they didn't finish con continue paving. And based on the documents that you provided, it was supposed to be a four, four foot tariff here only. But exactly, only a pedestrian strip. But well, this is more and than four. This more than four feet. Embankment. A truck could pass here. Yeah. Truck and not, it could pass. It is passing now. So now as the, it now as they have road now, Every it's easy access for material to come up for them exactly. to continue the construction. As you can see in the background, <coughs> somebody already started excavating their the house spot to build. So they'll be running on my my land become a thoroughfare. What must I do to bring an end to this? But but I see they left a coconut tree there for you, Mr. Joseph. Well, that is the only fruit tree remaining. All where I'm standing here was fruit tree. At the very beginning there, at the very beginning there, as you can see where the wood, where people come to bring fresh lumber, people just packing things on my land. Eh? All where I'm standing here was fruit tree. Where's my lime tree? Where's my mango tree? Eh? Where's my fruit tree? Where they going? Eh? And all of these things, I still can't understand how the court over, how it could have happened. That was overruled and all these minutes before the court. I bought this land from Republic Bank, I'm saying to Trinidad and Tobago again. Raymond and Pierre did the valuation to give the credit union, Eastern Credit Union, the go ahead to purchase the land from me from Republic Bank. Eastern Credit Union has hit do the mortgage for me. And if per se this land had any encumbrances running with it, I doubt very much the credit union will have it for me. All legal mind will know that. What's the problem? I want my land. Look at the state of this nation. These people are the back here. That is a that's private land. That's private land. They have the landlord. Okay. They are tenants on another estate. 
So it's not freehold? It, no, they are not freehold, and I don't know when they will get a deed for or something, some legal document for it is more than a receipt or the, month, the monthly or yearly installment they pay. Okay. This land have put, this situation have put me in, a, I cannot even tell use my land as collateral again, which I have did, did on two previous occasions. I have nothing, nothing. This is all I have. All who run in and bought in land for the land and fighting the government, I never depend on the government for nothing. And today my life is in danger because of a handful of people who want to erode me of what is mine. Now I did, I did, um, I saw a comment from someone threatening you on YouTube. Yes, an active soldier, active police, active prisoner of officer, everybody in the protective service who have access, who want gain access in my land, they are threatening because they feel I should just walk away and what I have spent $40,000 for. Yeah, but that is so idiotic because you can't come on YouTube and threaten someone. Well, this is what I find very and it strange. And it will be evidential because he don't have jurisdiction to remove that comment. Well, I, I wonder if he have any intelligence at all. He's another knucklehead in the system. And to know the, the, the one who did Satan trusted with firearm is getting involved in this matter. These people I'm speaking of is who the state in give firearm to protect the limb and family is getting involved in this matter. When the common man in the street could say, you know, who have a firearm and who have the or they tell me the balance. Knowing that knowing that you serve in the Trinidad and Tobago police service for so much years and being when it's being you're being victimized right now. How do you feel, Mr. Joseph? I feel I've wasted my life. I have wasted all my time in this state nation. All I try to own, telling myself what I can do for my country. Today I'm crying in the private of my home, I cry. Today it aches my heart to see what I have worked for that I can feel proud in my heart. What is there to feel proud of now? Since the parents cared for their life when they come in at night. Since the first production was uploaded and, and, and um, was uploaded on social media, did any one of the, the officials of the government pertaining to San Juan Laventil Regional Corporation, local government, any one of the, the party of, have um, gotten in contact with you? And that is what have me scared. This is what have me scared. I realize now like I put my hand in shit. This is what have me scared because even the Prime Minister I would have no, no acknowledgement. Nobody have come to me. Even though I'm telling my business is suffering because of this issue. So everyone is paying me shift. My installment per month is 12 5 per month. And it's my business is suffering because of this issue. Shifting and playing the blame yeah. game. And when Coca and his co-host and them is above me in his office, they laugh at me, tell me what to do. Did you go to your, your, um, your parliamentary representative? Well, that lady, I only see her on TV. And the two occasions I went to her, she tell me blatantly because like she had a pre-run of the issue. She said, Mr. Joseph, I cannot do nothing for you. That day, the last time I was there, she called Coca and said, Coca, I don't know what you're trying to get me involved in. Do we have to do and rectify this? So he's, he trying, so he's trying to implicate her in it also. This is what he tried to do. And she, in the presence of me, I can say for sure, even though I'm not satisfied knowing that she's the first judge and the MP for the area, she told me she cannot get involved in it. It's a private matter. I said, not no private matter. I bought this land. I show her my cadastral doing which she reluctant to even look at. To say this is a private road, this is a private land, I have my deed for it, you don't want to hear that. So you attempted, so you didn't make an attempt to show her the legal documents and, and refuse to... And she and refused to take a look at it. And she tell me she can't get involved and she called Kuka, you see me and say, Kuka, don't try to put me in, your, in all the comments. I say, not a question of comments. And the last, my closing would be there. I say, well, I know this is the, the, um, the, the St. Anne's East constituency. And St. Anne's is a place is recommended for my people. So I realize I'm in the wrong word. And with all due respect to you, ma'am, have a blessing. And I left her office. She never contacted me. Neither the Prime Minister office never contacted me. Nobody never contacted so, me. So according to Trump, you was treated as an immigrant. Um, well, it seems like it's worse than an immigrant. I'm not, I'm low, I was an immigrant, I'm an alien. Nobody knows where I come out from. I'm an alien. I serve this state with everything I could offer, give from my heart to this state. And today I cannot enjoy a comfort life in this state for what I've sacrificed. For. And the best part about it, I work for 20 something years at ISRP with no hope of getting a pension from this state. So this is where I stand on is where I made my sacrifice to own. To say that I work for something and I own part of Trinidad and Tobago, I cannot enjoy it. And what hurt me is that the hope that the Prime Minister gave me, that hope when I heard him on his nation address, 
where he said no, but he would not sit down here quietly and see these things happen under, you, under his watch. People were running people from the He public. didn't make that statement, did he? Didn't he didn't make that statement. That gave me the hope that today, no response. So it's either two things. Either that information is being sweeped under the rug, unknown to him, or he knows and he's doing nothing about it. The possibility exists one or the other. Either he know and he have known is I am a black man and you cannot know. Well, let us, let us hope that this, this um, last video does the trick and at least he's aware of the situation and rectify it as soon as possible. Because what is bothering me is to know the MP is supposed to be the first judge. And she's not a judge. She's not addressing him at all. The councillor supposed what, what's, to be what's your, what's your, what's your, what's your, uh, your, your parliamentary representative's name? All I can say is Miss Dolly. Miss Dolly, okay. okay. All I can say is Miss Dolly. Some Dr. Dolly, million or some, but Dr. Dolly. I think she's most taken up. Everybody will know Miss Dolly because she is with this, the carnival business. I don't know. I can't even tell remember seeing her in my business place. And I offer service to the community. You can't be singing PR and not handling the people. I, I don't understand that. That's like why I went to her to. Knowing the, the state of the nation and the killing activity, the taxpayers' money, he takes to do this. This is taxpayers' money. All year you're watching the taxpayers' money lying down when you go on here. So this is an eager, an this illegal like, erection. An Ill, 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 illegal contribution to the state, the state affairs. He takes taxpayers' money and do what he has done here. And what, but, and you know what bothers me is that the people you're talking to, by you, look at you as nobody treating you worse than dirt. Yeah, the PNM, they, they, they're not the, the PNM is the government, the, it's the, um, the administration in power today. It's the it's administration I always give 100% support. Who knows me will tell you that. And today, I can I make big mistakes as far as I'm concerned because when I go by them. From then they see me, watch my face, watch the bed man. From, the, from then they see me on the camera come in, everybody laughing. So they're laughing at the bed man? They're laughing at the, the bed pensioner bed man who pensioner. they all plan I to have, rob. All I have to leave as a legacy for Their my children, husband. a little piece of land. I already have 14 grandchildren and I have nothing. The house I'm living in, my poor mother suffering in Canada. She wants to come to her home, but she says she don't want to deprive me because she knows how I've been for her for all these years as a child. I couldn't do more than a child that, that she expects that I've done for her. I lived in her house. I cannot build my house. I never himself attempt any chief for a house because I always say I want to build my house to my dream, my dream house. The house of my style. I cannot enjoy my house. And the people who pass in here, they're living in a house. And they're stressing you out. Well, it be, it be on stress. I wonder if it, the way I just think now, I wonder if it's anxiety is stepping in. I am fed up. And when I could go to the highest office, that's so this, office. so this new, this new trace or road that has this been road, has road, been this created. This is what Eldon Coca Road. This is El, well, this must be Eldon Coca Road. This is Eldon Coca Land. This is Coca Property. He doing what he want. Nobody never come to me and say, well, Mr. Joseph, or oh, beard man, or oh, how they choose to call me, I would like to do so. Everybody is taking the shot at me that Coca take the property. And I say, and I only quote it, eh? I quote in what Digital tell me. I don't want nobody to misunderstand what I say. I say, it and I want to take my time and say, when I went to Digital, I wrote them a legal letter to my, my attorney, Colvin Blake. When I went for a feedback on it, they said, Mr. Joseph, a, a goodly lady came out. And she said, Mr. Joseph, I must inform you that the result would not be able to engage you in no conversation again. For the fact remains that Justice Frank Sipatran have given the people the land. I was shocked. And at that point, when I hear just Frank, Frank, Justice Frank Sipatran is a person I have great respect for, I tremble in my shoes, so I had to come to this position. Say, ma'am, I apologize and I'm sorry. And I had to bow. And I'm sorry for any inconvenience or anything I could cause on you. But I really thought the land was mine. So the judiciary play a serious role. Well, these people is walking around with a document saying the judge gave them the land. I only quoting what Digital tell me. Yeah, but you have to take into consideration under what circumstances. You cannot be a squatter and all of a sudden, okay, here, take it. It's yours. And you have and evidence. I know, and I know for far fact the matter is before the court. The matter is it having an appeal attention. The last time we was in court was on the 2nd of October. 
the court is waiting on the pleading that the matter could go forward that we know which judges are coming up on that. And that is as much as I want to say to that. I only say what the people say. The people here telling the whole district, the judge gave them the land. Justice Franks, you're the only jumping up Justice, Justice Franks, you could get the land, you could do what you want. He's a fair judge according to the soldier. He's a fair judge. He's a partial judge. He's a everything. Okay. People, somebody out there, and the only person I could be speaking directly to now is the Prime Minister. And second, the Minister of Local Government, in charge of local, how do you call it? Local, local government. Local, local government, who is in charge of rural roads, which I put in to his peer. I wouldn't call the name, two of them. And I gave three documents I drop off in that. So they one all day. have documentation all pertaining to this situation yeah. at Coca Lane? And I let them, yeah, Coca Lane. And I say I put every website they could find it on. And in this technical technological area, you can't tell me you don't have IT people who could go and get that there. It's right there. I went on the radio station with it. Nobody calls me. Nobody helping me. Tell me what to I do. did hear you on um, on Aisha's program. On 96.9. Yeah. That is Aisha 90, Well 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 99 point. correction. Yeah, 99. Point. Aisha for afternoon program. I was there. Okay. And it's the honest, the honest media that highlight my presence and willing to highlight my plight. Yeah, because the others they, definitely refuse. They refuse. They everybody don't want to get involved. But here, how can someone as a councillor with a level of integrity to, ser to serve the people of the area to which he was elected to do something as unconfining as this? I try to understand. Up to now, I can't come to grip to that. Because under Ms. Guerra, it was never done. Under Zorf, as they call him, Mr. Celestine, it was never done. Under the one they call Anthony Roberts, it was never done. How he could come and do it? How he get this mighty powerful? I thought, well, I, well he doing the reverse to the, probably the Prime Minister didn't understand what he said. I see another resident is taking well, refuge well, and well, passage well, on Trinity, he, he Coca Lane. For, for Trinity, they didn't attack us because normally when I come, come here, the, the dogs and all run me off. He seemed comfortable with Coca Lane. Of course. Apparently, that could be Coca Dog. <laughs> yeah. But I will ask, I will trust that who is really in charge of Mr. Coca, take charge of that. Let us, all oh, let us, let us do, let me stop counting the things that people, there's some people counting every day. Must I lose my life for what is mine? People is threatening me. Is that fair? I never went for NHA house. I never depend on no handout. I woke from four in the morning to what o'clock in the night. It's two o'clock this morning. I had to beg myself to rest just to say I'm making a dollar that I could spend a free dollar. Today, the thing that I provide in myself, it'd be calling jealousy and envy that people feel they must kill my child and they must do all these things and damage my children because I could provide something for my children. Tell me, that fair? Yeah? These things fair? Yeah? This thing fair? You see my daughter driving out of E.D. wagon is an issue. Everything they see in it is an issue. Eh? The whole issue. Eh? But what has me very concerned, let us do miss it. There's a police officer, there's a prison officer, there's a soldier. And all is alleged that the state give them firearms to protect themselves. And they're deeply involved in this matter. And I don't care about the others who have any fear about, the, fear about them. But when when a hustler on the street could have tell me, them will lick you up inside there, and they wouldn't tell me who would lick you up. They say, my John, we are from, we are from, we are from police, we are from this army, and we are from the prison. You, you is a dead man. And when I didn't listen, I didn't pay attention to that. But it's when the soldier made the comment on my comment page on this, since I'm doing this production, it bring me so cold in this land that I don't tell care who killed me now. Honestly, and if the Prime Minister, the Minister of National Security, the Director of Public Prosecution didn't get a look at this video to somebody to come to me, to God be the glory. Yeah, one and three and then until they go again. This, um, yeah, check friend, this bridge that you observe in the background that is being constructed, this bridge that is being constructed here is a bridge that is being constructed by. Elton Cooker, the councillor of the area. It's one corner away. It, it will come. It will form a, a corner away from my corner to get to my property where the issue is already highlighted about. 
But look at behind that bridge. Look at there's three units, a latrine, but it's one family. It's not different people. It's mother and children. And look at the background of those things. There's no other people. What what valuation was done to consider a bridge? What valuation was really done? That the state gets that Coca could encourage the, co the corporation to spend all these thousands of dollars. It will be far less the amount of money he will have taken to repair the people's road because the people have a road. Look at it for yourself. Look where it's, look where it's concerned now. Look at it. That bridge you see in there is what Elton Cooker is constructing. If you go up on his timeline, you'll see say how much work he's doing. Why, why he wouldn't put up this one? Why he wouldn't put up mine? Is it fair? Look at the kind of money he's been spent there. It's a bridge. They have the original corporation constructing that work. Yeah. They have it constructing that work. By the original corporation. And just in the background of me. Follow me. Follow me. Yeah, this is the ad in the background that work table is seeing there. You can do where the workmen and then once and do the work, do the prefabricating and what makes steel like that to put and things. But then, but the fact is, then look where they're going to put a bridge. Look at where they're putting this bridge. Look at where they're putting it. Yeah. Look where they're putting it. Do you all see any family on that bridge? But they're putting a bridge. Why, my lover? They're putting a bridge. Is that fair, my lord? Three houses. Three houses. One latrine. One latrine. One family. Latrine in the bush. You understand? That fair? That can never be fair. And he's bent on passing through my property to give the other villagers. But usually, a project like this deserves a petition with reference to showing how much people yeah. each project is benefiting exactly because so. thousands of dollars is being facilitated on this project. I wonder if that feasibility study was done and where they find the people to get that, to get it approved. Should we consider this again as a part of political mileage? Of course. And hate for me. Why I have to suffer like this? Look, all look at it for little. This is Coca project. This is another Coca road. Yeah. This is another Coca road. You understand? Apparently, a lot of espionage is being conducted in Lacano. Like, Coca is the boss of that. He's the chief, he's the main architect with that right now. Yeah. He's the author of these So, chances are true. it might have other small projects like this in the mainstream and nobody knows of. Of course. Political mileage. mileage. This is what is being done here. And it hurt me to know at my expense I have to suffer and look at all the look at it for little Coca's project. This is Coca's project. A bridge is being conducted. That is constructed it. to facilitate one family. Over the river. Over the river. And the best part of it, they have another access road. They have an access where where they have access road up the road. Just above these bushes there, it has a road with a pass. So this is a closer access that they... That exactly they... so. Oh. That is friends. It have to be. Yeah. Yes, my lord. Oh. Yeah. That is friends. It could be not. If it, it's not a friend, it will be family. Having friends in political places. In political places. And I have nobody, because I sure the MP know this money is being spent here. You can't tell me the MP know that. Miss Dolly, you have to know what's going on in this constituency. And if she's not on the ground, she better come down. Because I wouldn't leave no stone unturned. And what I'm telling, look the evidence is here. Come and see it, we believe. Is it is a trick in the camera? Come and see it. It's real. Miss Dolly is not on the ground. It have to be. Because all these things are happening under her watch. Kuka is his own boss. He began disobedient the children. You call that disobedient? That's beyond that. Them are in a different Bible. Them write their own scripture. They they aiding and betting only to criminal activity. Them dealing with the satanic virgin of the Holy Bible. Them not they're not honest people. Yeah. And even if I believe, even if I believe in the Our Father prayer, sometimes we don't need human without sin. 
Yeah. They believe in the satanic version of the Holy Bible that have one. Because he can't tell me he's praying and he's doing this kind of thing. He can't tell me if my if I didn't vote, the last vote to make it vote to make you win was my vote. My household had 10. I make sure until they vote. Now make sure that they vote who I want them to vote for. And let me see, even if nine did vote and I didn't get that one crucial vote, so they have to like a bite mouth on my fingers. That bastard. That man I'm sick. I'm sick. Yeah, because I don't want to go on the other side. I try my best not to do that. And the Prime Minister and Minister of National Security, the Director of Public Protection, nobody hear me that until the MP commented to hear me. And them supposed to be the first judges. Them who causing crime in the land too, you know. Because they're not coming out and listening to the man on the ground. Because if the man on the ground, they will adjust the situation. They're spending tax well money for all other social events and all kind of things as all they will know. But why they do adjusting it? Why they don't want to fix the people road up there? Why they don't want to fix the people road? And they have a landlord. Why the land do? They don't jump with the landlord. But not only that, only take a look at this one. One family across the river. Yes, my lord. Here, yeah, one family across the river. And they're building a bridge. How many thousand of dollars that cost me, I ask? Who did the feasible study to know the value of that? Who give the approval of that to have taxpayers' money spend there and taxpayers' money with people working there? Who did that? Under the watch of Miss Dolly, who subordinated Councillor Council Puka. And when the bridge is done, I know the MP will come and open it, you know. The MP had to come and open it, and I suffer inside of here for what is mine. And this is as much as I want to say on this matter. Right. All right, my lord, right. everything here is of you. And as, the, as things keep coming to me, I will highlight it to the national community and the world at large. Have a blessed one, everybody.